Why is the administrative appeal so important to your long-term disability insurance claim? Hi, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney. After the disability claim is filed, the insurance carrier will either grant the claim or deny the claim. If the claim is granted, the insurance company will begin to pay monthly benefits. If the claim is denied, the claimant will receive a denial letter. This letter is very important because it will list what evidence the insurance company reviewed when making its decision. For example, whether it was reviewed by a nurse case manager, a doctor, or a hired consultant such as a senior claims adjuster. The denial letter should state the reasons the claim was denied and what medical evidence the carrier needs to prove disability. The denial letter will also give important information for an appeal, including when and where the appeal must be received. The denial letter will give time limits for filing the appeal. If the policy is governed by federal ERISA law, the appeal deadline will be 180 days from the date of the letter. If an appeal deadline is missed, the claimant will be unable to appeal, and if the claimant does not exhaust or use all available appeals, the claimant will not be able to file a lawsuit. If the claimant wins the administrative appeal, he or she will receive back benefits and will be put back on plan. The claimant will begin to receive monthly benefits into the future. The claimant will still need to adhere to all contractual obligations and will need to continue to send updated medical records and attending physician statements to prove ongoing disability. This topic is discussed more in my free ebook, Long-Term Disability Insurance Claims, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.